Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. I will be discussing and demonstrating an exercise to strengthen the outside aspect of the lower leg, what we call in medical terms the lateral lower leg. Two important muscles are located in the lateral leg, the peroneus longus and the peroneus brevis. They both connect to the bottom aspect of the foot and help to do a motion called eversion, where the ankle is turned outwards. The exercise I'm going to be demonstrating is done with the resistance band. It is a simple movement, but it is highly effective in strengthening the lateral aspect of the lower leg. Strong muscles in that area help to prevent injuries to the tendons of these muscles. Tendinopathy in the outside of the lower leg is a common injury for runners, especially for trail runners. So strengthening these muscles with some cross training done with the resistance band will be extremely helpful. When we are speaking of the ankle, there are four basic movements in the ankle. Right now I have my foot in the neutral position. When I bring my ankle into a motion where the upper part of the foot is moved away from the shin, that is called plantar flexion. When I flex my ankle so that the upper part of the foot is moved towards the shin, that is called dorsiflexion. When I flex my ankle so that the inside part of the foot, I mean, I'm sorry, the bottom part of the foot moves towards the inside of the body, that is called inversion. When I flex my ankle so that the bottom part of the foot moves towards the outside, of the body, that is called eversion. That is the motion that the muscles on the lateral aspect of the lower leg perform. So I'm going to be demonstrating an exercise that moves the, the ankle into eversion. That will help to strengthen the muscles in the lateral aspect of the lower leg. I am going to give you a close-up view of the ankle motion where I'm moving into eversion to strengthen the lateral aspect of the lower leg. As you can see, I have the resistance band wrapped around my foot. It's wrapped around the middle part of the foot. You don't want it wrapped around the ankle or around the toes. I, am, I have the other end wrapped around a foam roller with my right foot secure on the foam roller to hold it in place. When we do eversion, there's not a great amount of motion, so the ankle doesn't really move very far but we still want to move it through a pain-free range of motion to make it extremely effective. We want to start in a neutral position and turn the ankle so that the bottom part of the foot moves outwards. Then go back to the neutral position. Now you will feel this in the muscles in the lateral aspect of the lower leg. You may even feel it in the ligaments down here that connect the lower leg to the foot. You want to start at the number of repetitions that you could do comfortably and build up to 15. You want to work both sides evenly. If you have an issue with one side, then you can do extra repetitions or an extra set on that side, but you still want to make sure that you work the opposite side. As you can see, the motion is not much. I'm starting in a neutral position and I'm everting the ankle. This will help to strengthen the peroneus longus and the peroneus brevis, which are two muscles located in the outside portion of the leg. This has been Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic explaining to you a resistance band exercise for the ankle moving into eversion to strengthen the peroneus longus and the Peronius Prince.